Hi, I'm Catherine from the Bike Kitchen in Windsor, Ontario. Today I'm going to walk you through how to fix your flat tire. For this repair, you'll need a bike pop, tire levers, and a spare tube or a patch kit. If your bike has axles with nuts, you'll also need a wrench to remove them with. First, we'll start out by removing the wheel with the flat tire from the bike. If you don't have a bike stand at home, you can also do this repair with your bike resting upside down on the handlebars and the seat. To take the wheel out, we'll need to disengage the brakes. For V-brake systems, squeeze the brakes together and pull the brake noodle out of the arms to open them. Some caliper brakes will have a switch to open them. Others don't have this option, so the tires will need to be deflated in order to take it out and put it back in. For cantilever brakes, simply pop the loose end of the cable out of the brake arm. If you have disc brakes, you can just pull the wheel out as there is nothing to disengage. To take the wheel out, either open the quick release lever or loosen the nuts on the axle and pull it out. If there's any air left in the tube, let it out. If you have a Presta valve, remember to unscrew the valve first. Insert the tire lever underneath the bead of the tire and pull it along the bead to pop one side of the tire off. If it's a stubborn tire, you may need to use multiple levers to get the first bit going. You should be able to pull the other side of the tire off fairly easily. It's good practice to keep the tube and the tire in place when removing them to make it easier to find the source of the flat. Unless you want to repeat this process as soon as you're done, it's a good idea to check to make sure there's nothing in your system that could be puncturing the tube. Pull the tube out next to the tire and inflate it a bit with the pump. Listen for any hissing and feel for a stream of air escaping. If you find something, check the matching spot on your rim and tire for anything pokey like a thorn or a piece of glass. If you can't find any hole in particular, it could just be a slow leak. Take a rag or a paper towel and run it around the rim and the inside of the tire to check for any debris and clean out any dirt. Once you've cleaned out your tire and rim, it's time to put a new tube in. Or, if you're on the road and don't have a tube handy, you can try to patch any visible holes in the original tube. This works as a temporary fix, but we usually recommend replacing the tube if you have the option to do so. Your tire size will be stamped somewhere on the sidewall of the tire. Most tubes will work for a range of different tire sizes. Grab one that will fit in your tire and make sure you get the right valve type. Next, inflate your new tube with just enough air so that it will hold its shape. Then, place it into your tire. Insert the valve and hook one side of the bead into the rim. Make sure the tire is facing the right direction. This is also printed on the side wall of the tire. Starting on one end, hook the second side of the tire bead into the rim. Work your way around, being careful not to pinch the tube against the rim. If you're having trouble getting the last little bit of the tire in, you can use your tire levers to help. But be careful, this is one of the most common ways to pinch a hole in your tube. Once you have your tire seated on, pump it up to the recommended pressure. About halfway through, it's a good idea to check all the way around both sides of the tire to make sure it's seated correctly and not coming off the rim in any places. Now it's time to put the wheel back on the bike. Slide the wheel into place, tighten the axle enough to hold the wheel on, and then place the bike on the ground. We do this to make sure that the wheel is sitting straight in the frame. Once your bike is on the ground, tighten the axle fully and close the quick release if you have one. If you have V-brakes, cantilever brakes, or caliper brakes with an opening lever, remember to reconnect your brakes. And that's it. Once you've done it a few times, changing a tire can be quick and easy and nothing to be scared of. Hopefully this video helped get you rolling and we hope to see you soon in the bike kitchen to show off your fully inflated tires.